but it's so smart. We always want to have something that isn't just descriptive. It's like mm. puppy love care. Something really strong would be freak on the leash, you know? That's so good. Uh, all right. So Jonathan Davis launches freak on a leash product line, and this is going to be high quality gunmetal hardware, leather, <laughs> nylon, and plushies that we're Good all idea. super excited about. So when I was reading about some, oh no, oh no, is he getting into some rock metal kink product line? I'm so Bondage. excited about this. <laughs> this in fact is a pet line, okay, which is super cute. Freak on a leash. I love it. Makes total sense. I love it. Um, I was expecting something very different, but Freak on a Leash, of course, being from the 1998 Follow the Leader album. I think most of us are familiar with it. And if not, just, you know, the corn rendition, the acoustic performance. And what was that on MTV with Evanescence, uh, Amy Lee? I mean, whew, that, that, that song has a special so place in my heart. But in any case, they're now doing uh, a wonderful thing with a nonprofit. I think it's just really cool. And I'm shocked that he hadn't done this earlier. Like it's so, yeah, right. it's so genius. You know what I mean? Um, as far as a, a, a brand for, you know, pet supplies. Now he hasn't released any of like the visuals from it. Like if you go to the website, you could see like a little video on the webpage where it's like kind of showing him with different dogs and stuff like that, but you can't really get a sense of what is going on. Um, that you're yeah, going to so be it's a nonprofit animal rescue organization yeah. called Take Me Home. Take Me Home, right? They're going to reveal uh, reveal it tomorrow, actually. So Saturday, October eighth, at the AfterShock Festival in Sacramento, California. So that will be the first place that you'll be able to see the stuff. Um, and then the first, you know, hundred people I think get to meet Jonathan Davis. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That Very is cool. cool. Um. He's 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 a he's a real nice fun guy. I, I I once got a can of corn signed by the entire band of corn on the. And he literally still career. has. He's it's he's like so one gross. time one time decades and decades ago. No no no, it's true. And he still has this. And, and, but it's not it's not even like all like billowed out. Like I I keep forgetting. Like whenever we do a corn story, I should literally bring it up just so I can show you this thing. This thing is held up since you know ninety seven. <laughs> I cannot feel my face. Doesn't match with the puppy product. But it's so smart. Like, so as a trademark attorney, when I talk to people and businesses about trademarking their names, their products, their logos, um, you know, we always want to have something that isn't just descriptive. It's like mm. puppy love care for the puppy products is very, you know, intuitive, kind of descriptive of what it is. That's a weak trademark. Something really strong would be freak on the leash, you know. That's so good. Uh, it's product, so good. Products for and accessories for, you know, cats, dogs, whatever. It's it, it's a really good trademark. I hope, I hope, the only thing I've seen so far is like dog stuff. So I hope there's like uh, cat products because Ripley could use some freak on a leash um cute oh my collar. gosh i'm telling you i think that yeah, i think that's ripley. genius but in any case we're super excited about this and we'll be getting a freak on a leash something for something. ripley when this becomes available for kitty cats <laughs>